we, we often talk about cybersecurity uh, on both of my committees, this one and the Intel Committee. And uh, it really just gets back to the, the, to the same fundamental question, which is, okay, we're, we're legislators, we make laws, what do you want us to do about it? And um, because, because we have to make a, a few considerations here. We, we, could, establish, we could establish a bunch of um, uh, cybersecurity standards, whatever that means. What, what does that mean? I mean, uh, everybody has to have a certain password with you know, certain characters. I, I don't know. It could mean a lot of things. Uh, the cyber experts would know. But then we have to consider, do we, do we forcefully apply that to all practices across the healthcare sector? It makes sense when, you know, it's, it's, it's a huge and impactful entity like United. It, it makes a little less sense with it when it's a private practice that might have a lot of trouble putting those kind of standards in place. And so those are the kind of things we have to consider. And, and, and generally, if we're going to force something, it should be because there's a market failure and the market itself doesn't have the incentives to do it themselves. So those are all the things I think about when we talk about um, imposing st in, uh, standards. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of, of, of a specific piece of legislation that we're considering uh, that, 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 that goes in that direction at all. Um, this is obviously an informational hearing on where we can just talk about it. And so maybe comment on what I just said and, and give us some suggestions. What do you actually want us to do? And, and I looked at my former FBI and former DHS uh, folks here to, to maybe answer that question. Maybe we can start with you, Mr. Riggi. Sure. Appreciate the question. I think we have to be very thoughtful and methodical on how we proceed. In the current pending um, thoughts on imposing cybersecurity standards purely for hospitals would not have prevented the United Healthcare change attack. We were the victims, collateral damage, and more importantly, our patients were the collateral damage here. So whatever strategy- well, why, can, you, can you explain technically why that's, why that's the case? Why, wouldn't it have, why would it have not prevented it? Because the attack originated with United. So that was like internal. Excuse me. Go ahead. Uh, so United was the target of the attack. Right. The current standards that are being proposed are only targeted towards hospitals. I see. I see. So if we implemented all the standards, that still would not have prevented the United attack. Okay. So again, proceeding there, thinking about a holistic approach, whatever that strategy is. Of course, we want to incentivize hospitals. Hospitals are going to need a lot of resources to help meet the standards to help defend themselves. We need better secured technology as well. We need the third parties to comply with whatever the standards are. We need better information exchange with the government. And as I always say, the government's got to do more on offense. You know better than most when you have mm -hmm. foreign bad guys beyond the reach of law enforcement and the government's got to use all their well, And, and this, they always get back to this question, which is, okay, if you have a murderer in your house or a burglar, what do you do? You call 911 and there's immediate action right. response. That, 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 there's, there's no parallel for cyber. I think we're, the F, people think they can call the FBI, but the FBI is going to come and collect evidence and, and maybe build a case later. Am I correct? That's correct. Uh, CISA would be the, supposed to be potentially the on-site actor, but even then, I mean, what are they really doing against a, an active ransomware attack? You know, tracking down the bad guys and then kicking down their door. Like, is that, that doesn't exist. Can it exist? Is that even possible? Um, is that what the government should be thinking about? Uh, that is one of our recommendations, to, to find a way to have a, a more reflexive, um, rapid response capability uh, from, from the government. Um, what the Congress can do uh, is to explore that. Congress did a good thing in terms of incentives back in 2021 with enactment of what became Public Law 116.321. It told HHS, when it's enforcing a data breach, to consider the extent to which the, the breached entity had over the past year implemented good cybersecurity practices. The NIST cybersecurity framework, the 405D health industry cyber practices, you do the right thing, we'll take that into consideration. Maybe the fines will be lower, the audits will be less severe. Mm -hmm. You can have similar types of, Congress doesn't need to legislate specific cybersecurity controls. Um, that is not within your expertise, but there are widely recognized cybersecurity controls that can be a reference for positive incentives. Do the right thing. If, if CMS is the reimbursement authority, well, if you do the right thing, maybe we'll give you a little bump in your reimbursement. Okay, that's, that's the money that mm. is really what, what is driving. That's an interesting uh, suggestion. Uh, I'm out of time. I yield back. Thank you.